The British High Commissioner to the Gambia, His Excellency David Bergroff, met the President, His Excellency Adam Barrow, to bid farewell after three years of service in the Gambia. Speaking to GRTS after his audience with President Barrow, High Commissioner Bergroff commended the government's commitment to democratic consolidation, adding that the United Kingdom will continue to work closely with the Gambia to strengthen democracy and good governance. Um, first of all, I thanked His Excellency the President, President Barrow, for the warm hospitality of uh, himself, um, his government, and the people of the Gambia, and uh, just how much I've enjoyed my time here. But I also congratulated the President on the progress they've made, and he and his government has made, in consolidating uh, democracy in the Gambia, and their program of constitutional reform, and the courage in actually accepting and implementing the vast majority of the recommendations from the TRRC report, because these are all quite important constitutional changes in consolidating democracy and in a region where that is constantly under threat. And so you know, I, I uh, pledged that my government will continue to support uh, the work that I've been doing and my colleagues have been doing with the government of Gambia and this will continue. So we talked about that. But we also talked about the big opportunities in the Gambia moving forward. And as the infrastructure improves, the opportunities around expanding tourism, uh, expanding industry, expanding agriculture. And again, these are the areas that my government want to continue to support and I'm sure my successor will play a part in. Um, we, it, uh, and it continued this uh, productive but incredibly friendly cooperation between our two countries. In a separate engagement, President Barrow also received a high-powered delegation from Senegal, comprising wrestlers, promoters, managers, and media personnel. During discussions with the President, the delegation led by Abdul Aziz Ndiaye revealed plans to stage a major wrestling competition involving renowned Senegalese wrestlers under the patronage of President Barrow. Khadim Sam, famous wrestling commentator, and Abdul Aziz Njai, the organizer of the event, built the competition as a major event. W. Pitt, big name wrestlers, Tafatin against Emusen, and Modlo against Amabalde. The two officials added that they were honored to stage the event in the name of the President, as he is a sports enthusiast and an advocate of Senegambian solidarity and friendship. The experts believe that the competition will foster friendship between the two countries. We say a lot in common, particularly wrestling. Another wrestling promoter known for organizing big name competitions, Luke Nikolai, described the proposed event as a major breakthrough, given that Gambians are keen followers of the sport. He described the Gambia and Senegal as two broader nations with a shared history and culture, adding that this competition will further strengthen these relations. Other speakers, including Bekai Njai, Malik Chandum and veteran wrestler Bala Gay built the board as a great opportunity to build cultural bridges between the Gambia and Senegal as it will bring people closer and enhance regional integration. They all thank the president for accepting the honor and praised him for his untiring efforts in promoting Senegal-Gambia relations. They also expressed hope that this planned event will serve as a springboard to further promote unity and friendship between the two countries and peoples. The President, His Excellency Adam Barrow, acknowledged the power of sports in uniting people from all walks of life and thanked the delegation for organizing such a mega event that will promote sports and unity. As a sports enthusiast, especially wrestling, President Barrow recounted his early days when he followed wrestling contests keenly with joy and passion, urging organizers and stakeholders to maintain the spirit of the sport and use it to unite people, spread peace and love. The President finally affirmed his commitment to maintain and consolidate friendly relations between Senegal and the Gambia, adding that he will work closely with his Senegalese counterpart to bring the two countries and peoples closer. Mamoru Jalo, GRTS News.